In this lecture, we will discuss some other key issues across vulnerable groups in the times of COVID-19. We know that women tend to face greater risks during emergencies, including health disasters such as pandemics. This pandemic has also resulted in rise of cases of domestic violence. Women are at greater risk for domestic violence during this time. Various unplanned lockdown extensions in the country made it more difficult for them to seek help for such concerns. Homes which were already unsafe for women and families living in poor conditions are worst hit during this time. Cases of violence against women have increased due to the imposed stay-at-home rules, social distancing, financial difficulties and anxieties caused as a result of the pandemic. They have also increased due to economic difficulties leading to rise in violent, abusive, impulsive, aggressive, compulsive and controlling behavior towards partner or spouse. Being trapped in a house with violent or manipulative individuals could lead to increased rates and intensity of threats, physical, sexual and psychological abuse, humiliation, intimidation and controlling behavior. Those women whose life has been badly affected by the ongoing crisis might also be in economic distress. Increase in consumption of alcohol or drugs by the spouse or family member can be a contributing element in the increase of abuse. Resource limitations for women has brought in a situation where women tend to neglect their own requirement while prioritizing life and budget of others in the family and issues like menstrual hygiene, mental health and her nutrition do not feature in the list of priority. Those women who had been saving up to leave from abusive household might now have to use up those savings to combat financial crisis. Citizens must be sanitized towards the increased risk of domestic violence and bystanders and neighbors should be urged to intervene if they suspect abuse using tactics such as banging on the door or ringing the bell. They should also be provided the benefit of anonymity if they choose to report a case. Now we will focus on the safety plan and ways to seek help from domestic abuse. One must be aware of a safety plan and ways to seek help from domestic abuse. Safety plan includes knowing local domestic violence and sexual assault resources, having a phone call hidden for emergencies, opening up to trusted neighbor about your situation, sharing your safety plan, developing a code language to communicate through. Always keeping an extra set of keys for house and car. Exit strategy and gateway bag with clothes, toothbrushes and other essential items. Ensuring that medications, identification 
and birth certificate are packed safely now we will discuss about the impact on the underprivileged while a large part of the world's population was quarantined in their homes there were millions of people who were deprived of the privilege of having the basic amenities met the migrant situation is one of the cruelest and highlighted issue of the ongoing pandemic millions have become unemployed and left with no money food and shelter migrants have been crisis crossing the country's highways to return to their villages with several facing accidents and deaths on their way the social health as well as economy is in a difficult phase unemployment has rendered a large section as directionless this stress inducing pandemic has exponentially increased fear of hunger among the poor forcing them to take desperate measures such as braving the long march home for survival many vulnerable youth such as migrants or homeless youth are in precarious situations they are the ones who can easily be overlooked if governments do not pay specific attention as they tend to be already in a situation without even their minimum requirements being met on health education employment and well-being the ability to isolate a person from family and friends monitor their movement and restrict access to financial resources employment opportunities